In this video, I'm showing you how to set up visual voicemail on a T-Mobile Android phone. In this example, I'm using an unlocked OnePlus 8 that was purchased directly from OnePlus themselves. It did not come with any software pre-installed, and I noticed when I activated my plan on T-Mobile Magenta, the T-Mobile Visual Voicemail app was downloaded and installed automatically. So I'm showing you what happens when you receive a voicemail without having anything set up, and then once you've set up your visual voicemail through the T-Mobile application. Okay, so I just called and left myself a voicemail and you can see the voicemail notification here and it just says dial the voicemail number. This is actually not the same number that is on this phone, uh, but either way, this will call our voicemail, to your voicemail and we're gonna be prompted to set it up. So I'll walk you through the voicemail setup process. I will be helping you set up your voicemail in three easy steps. Creating a password, recording your name, and creating a greeting. You will need to create a new password. Otherwise, you will be prompted again the next time you call your voicemail. Let's get started by creating a password. Enter your new four to nine digit password. Then press the pound sign. Your new password is one, two, four, five. If you are satisfied with your password, press pound. To change your password, to require your password each time you call your voicemail, press 1. To leave this feature off, press 2. Password security is now disabled. You will still need your password when accessing your voicemail while roaming, or from a phone other than your own. Next, you will record your name. At the tone, please speak your first and last name. Then press pound. Stetson Doggett. Your name is Stetson Doggett. If you are satisfied with your recorded name, press 1 to erase and re name saved. Next, you will record a personal greeting. If you would like to use your name as your greeting and skip to the end of your voicemail setup, press 2. Your personal greeting is Stetson Doggett. If you are satisfied with your greeting, press 1. To erase and re-record your greeting, press 2. To listen to your greet at the tone, please record your personal greeting. When you are finished, press pound. Hi, you've reached Stetson. Please leave your message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Your personal greeting is... Hi, you've reached Stetson. Please leave your message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. If you are satisfied with your greeting, press 1. To erase and re-record your greet, personal greeting saved. Congratulations, your setup is now complete. To access your mailbox in the future, press and hold the one key or dial 123 from your phone. Please remember your password. 1245. I will now go over some helpful tips before taking you to your mailbox. If you want to skip these tips and go to your mailbox now, you may press pound. Here are a few helpful tips to help you get the most from your new voice mailbox. Your voice mailbox will always tell you what keys to press to access and manage your messages. But if you need help at any time, you can press the zero key. If you get lost in your mailbox or need to back up a step, press the star key. If you wish to jump ahead, press the pound key. You can delete messages at any time by pressing the seven key, or you can save messages by pressing nine. Thank you. You have two new voice messages. Okay, so now that you've gone through your voicemail setup process, you've set your PIN and you've set your custom voicemail greeting, to access your voicemail in the future, you're gonna go to the phone app, you're gonna go to the dial pad, and you're gonna press and hold the one button. You'll notice it actually does have a voicemail icon underneath it. When you call it, this will immediately bring up your voicemail. Saved message. And there you go. So at this point, when you do get a new voicemail, you will get the voicemail notification, and if you tap it, it will again bring you to your voicemail. Okay, so that's how you set up voicemail on an Android phone on T-Mobile, but we have the visual voicemail app directly from T-Mobile. So this is gonna allow us to see our voicemail messages and potentially even see the transcripts, I believe if you pay for a plan add-on. Let's go through the setup process. Tap next, tap allow, tap allow, tap allow. You can see T-Mobile is offering their premium service. This is voicemail to text, where your voicemail messages are automatically transcribed and sent to you as a text message. Now it's important to note, iPhone users, your iPhone will do this automatically, 
And some Android phones will do this automatically as well. So I highly suggest you tap maybe later and you don't use this feature. However, if you do want it, it is available and I think it's around two to three dollars per month. You can find and manage this add-on in your T-Mobile account. You just go to settings, my account. And that's it, your visual voicemail should be set up. So I'm going to tap thanks. And it says allow visual voicemail to access your call logs. You're gonna tap allow. You're gonna tap allow over other apps. You're gonna go back. We're gonna go back again, tap into visual voicemail. And there you have it. This is your visual voicemail mailbox. And you can see your messages and you can swipe to browse between your messages just like so. If you pay for the premium, I do believe you will see a transcription of your message um, and you can immediately call the person back or send them a message. You can also flag messages as unread or read. It's pretty easy to use, pretty intuitive, and you can see this is the visual voicemail example T-Mobile is showing you to kind of promote their voicemail service. So let's say you set up the T-Mobile visual voicemail application, and now if you receive a voicemail, I you can see you get a notification that is more actions. It's from the visual voicemail app, and you can tap to listen, tap to call, or tap to message the person back. And you can directly see the T-Mobile visual voicemail app notification versus the regular voicemail application, where the regular voicemail, your only option is tap to call your voicemail. Here, again, tap to listen, call or message. If we tap listen, it opens the voicemail application and plays the message. There we go, so that's how that works. Again, we can tap to immediately call the person back and this will just boom, there you go. Call the person back, just like so. You can also tap to send them a message. This opens up the message application where you can type, hey, sorry I missed your call, something like that, and tap send. And then the phone will get just a notification that, hey, you know, sorry you missed your call or whatever. And you can start a conversation thread, which is super nice. If we go back, you can also mark the message as unread. And if we go back, you can see all the messages here and the blue dots signify that those messages are unread. And it looks like you can actually tap on the contact to view the contact info. And if we tap in, you can see all the messages and there you go. So that is a brief overview of how to set up voicemail and T-Mobile visual voicemail on an Android phone on T-Mobile. If you found this video helpful, please leave it a thumbs up down below. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.